at the next event here in Birmingham, England. So historically, I've only played Wimbledon on grass. So playing in Hurtagenbosch was like a first. And playing here, I played here once, like a few years ago, maybe five years ago. Can't keep track, so I'm doing new things, people. And uh, new year, new me. I don't know exactly what it is, but it is fun out here. Like these courts are pristine. Courts in um, and Hartagenbosch were really good, and these are probably going to be even better, which is great. Big cricket match going on back there. Everybody's going crazy. I've never been to a cricket match, but I got my own match here. That I got to focus on playing in a few days, so we get used to the new conditions. Give it a go. If you tried, you probably could. You might develop arthritis, out. but you'll get it. It feels all wrong, man. Luxation <laughs> coming. Here, put this one here. Pop. De oh. <laughs> Failure. Yeah, that's not going to work. Uh, nope. Yeah. <laughs> Forehand. Yeah, if we can recognize those short balls, get up to them a little bit quicker, it's going to make a big difference. We'll keep looking for that depth off the ground. Good long swings, good height like that one. Yeah, like that. That's it. That's a different ball. So I remember looking at the stats, and that was one of the things I highlighted in my head. It was like, she's got to do more damage with second serves, second serve returns. Some damage. Stay down. Yeah, great point, V. Able to be aggressive with second serve returns a lot more than you have been. I feel like you served better in general for a longer period of time. Like there wasn't that dip towards the end where like the legs weren't working or you weren't going up. Like you just stayed pretty solid throughout. It was good, and you were hitting the ball deeper consistently. Way more than last week. Yeah, I just have to not rush at some moments. Some moments I start rush. Yeah. It's just a little rest, rest. It usually happens when you're having to take two, three steps to either side, and then you're pulling off to recover quickly. Stay down, execute, and then go. My name is Isabel Brigido, and I'm Venus's physiotherapist. I do all her physical therapy treatment in terms of before going on court, after we do dry needling, massage, stretching, uh, myofascial, all, you know, all these kind of treatments in order to have her 100% like, ready for, for tournaments and daily practice and to do some prevention or if there's any kind of discomfort to to manage that. I'm very excited because uh, Venus hasn't played in six months, besides of the, that Libema match that she did uh, really good. Even though if, if it was not a victory, it was a win in, in my opinion, because her body was, was uh, okay after the match, which is something that we may not have had in the past. So her body is responding well. You know, working with 
with Venus is a, is a real privilege. And I'm, I'm, I'm honored, I'm utterly honored, but I'm also like uh, really happy to see her doing good. Um, and that's it, I, I just want her to keep on rocking as much as she, want, as she wants, and that's it. Proud. You did amazing. Come on, all the Isaga all day. It's crazy. I'm so what about uh, speechless so and at the same time so many words. Thank you. So proud. Thank you. Guys. You did amazing. What a fire. What a champion you are being. That's hard right there. Alright. Good job everybody. Good job. Oh, we'll take that. Thank you. So Win the match, check. Cool down, check. Great team moment, check. I'm so excited. I, I, maybe I don't sound as excited, but I'm so excited. And it's great to do this with my team. The only person missing right now is my family and Serena. Um, my first match in the Netherlands. 
it was hard. It, everything was going so fast and I just ran out of energy too. I just like, I had nothing in the end to win that match. But as I was playing the match today, I was like, I'm in the third set and I'm not tired. It's like, I have a chance here. And also I was just kind of thinking too, like four months of work, one win. All the work that goes into um, getting this one win today so that way you can build on it. And I remember when I first started my rehab, it was March 27th, the first serious rehab. And for the first eight weeks after my injury, I was just so exhausted from being injured constantly for years that I, I, I had to take Literally, I took two months just to kind of mentally recover from all my injuries. So it feels amazing to stand here right now and overcome all that, all those issues with my body. Even today on the court, you know, playing a great match, I get up 3-0, my knee starts hurting. And I'm like, what in the world? How is this happening? It was very um, emotionally challenging, to be honest. But in my head, I'm thinking, I, I have to play this match. Like, I need to, I, I haven't played any matches. I need a match. I gotta play this match. And I never can walk off the court. It's just not my thing. I have to give it everything. I could not have walked off that court knowing that possibly I could have walked off the winner right now today. So this is an unbelievable moment for me. Uh, we were just, when we were cooling down, walking around the court, I was talking about like the last couple of years and what the, that has been for me. And I played a total of six, six tournaments in the last couple of years. And my last singles win was like two years ago. But clear, I clearly have not played a lot of matches. Um, in the last six months, I played one tournament and one in January and the one before that was in September. So. It's not easy to be this rusty and still bring your best tennis against uh, opponents who really honestly play above their head when they come out on the court against me. There are no easy matches. It doesn't matter how long I've been away. Um, people still play their best against me, and that's fine. Um, I'm okay with that because I'm, I'm here to win no matter what. I'm here to play the ball, not my opponent. So at this point now, I've got to go figure out what's happening with my knee because it's still there. Uh, obviously, it hurts less when you win. <laughs> when you lose, it hurts more, but no matter what, like, no matter what I'm going through, I give everything on the court. I just do, I don't know any other way. I can't make excuses. So it feels good to have done all that work and get through even more adversity today, and hopefully I can figure this out and get on the court on, on the next match with no pain. But right now, this feels so good um, because not only do you have to be ready physically, but the mental battle is actually harder than possible, the, the physical battle. So to overcome the physical and the mental today, is, it feels unbelievable. And it just lets me know I can do more. Hi, I'm Hugo Armando. I'm from Palm Beach Gardens, Florida, and I'm Venus Williams' coach. My day to day is just to, you know, help Venus, guide her a little bit on and off the court, making sure that all that she has to do is just focus on, on her tennis. But the way that I prepare is, is make sure, especially with, with, with Venus, is her health is number one. So we want to make sure that she's healthy, she's ready to go, she's feeling good. Once that's established, then I, I try to do the best job I can of scouting her, her opponent and just giving Venus three or four things to focus on that are really going to help her you know, win the match, it'll make a difference, whether it's, you know, focusing on her serve or putting pressure on returns or, or certain patterns that her opponent might have. Keeping it simple, straightforward, and, and just making sure that she's, that she's ready to go. We all know how much she loves being out here and competing and being at tournaments. And if she's not healthy, she can't do that. So the number one goal is for her to stay healthy for a long period of time, so she is able to compete consistently. I think if, if we're able to do that, she's, she's still playing well enough uh, where she can, she can give herself plenty of opportunities to win a lot of matches. And that's something that I know she's gonna love and she's gonna enjoy. Not just the wins, but the process of being able to see on tour and playing a lot of tournaments. You know, because you can tell, uh, even, even after the win against Georgia in the first round, 
that big smile on her face, like that, that kind of just says it all, you know. So hopefully we could see a lot more of those those smiles moving forward. So that was a great tournament for me, uh, not the result that I wanted. It's never the result unless you win the whole thing, but uh, coming out of it I realized I got what I needed out of those events, which was seriously some match practice, and a realization that I'm out here, I'm playing these tournaments, and I'm playing really, really well, and that I'm, I can move, I can hit the ball, I'm serving better than ever and all these different things that were, were super, super positives. And then I had to realize like I'm so intense with the results that I want for myself that I have to, I have to realize I've played a lot less matches than almost everyone. And sometimes that does come up a little bit, but I'm always putting myself in like this amazing position, exactly where I'd like to be to have opportunities to win and, with each match, it'll just get better and better. So I, I have some clarity after the match because I was not that happy because I felt like I could win, even though um, I wasn't perfectly healthy. But that's grass too. You can um, you can get injured very easily out here. You can tweak a leg, you pull things because it, it's so intense. It doesn't look intense. You'd be like, oh, it's grass, it's softer. It's actually so much harder on the body because you have to bend so much more because the balls are so low and it puts an extra strain, especially on someone that's my height. By the way, I'm 6'1", if you didn't know. And um, I just, with my proportions, I, my legs are like, I'm bending around them. So being able to get through these tournaments and get through my matches and get through well, I don't, I don't think that anyone's gonna be super excited to play against me because I'm playing well. And it just, what matters most is to win the last point. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to be focused on is winning the last point and bringing my best self. And so that's what I'll be meditating on and I'm excited about the journey.